By this point, we've all seen the new trailer for No Way Home, and there are a few obvious takeaways. Doc Ock and Goblin are back, the Sinister Six is probably a mix of Andrew Garfield villains and Raimi villains, and Doctor Strange might be playing the Mephisto role from One More Day. But there are a few things that are still not so clear, like exactly when and where Maguire's Spider-Man will come on the screen. As you know, Toby's my favorite Spider-Man, so the more time that we get with him, the better. Imagine the music just starting to swell when all hope is lost, and we see Toby enter the scene. His iconic theme, blaring. So, there's a particular fan theory that I've come across that, if true, might just make No Way Home a really special Spidey flick. I wanted to say the best Spidey movie ever, but obviously, you know, nothing's going to surpass 2004 Spider-Man 2, so it's best to not even joke about it. So this fan theory is equal parts spoiler and theory, since I've seen some folks claim that this theory is actually in a scene of the movie, so if you want no spoil, then turn away now. But if you don't mind this rumor, then let's continue. This theory states that at one point in the movie when Tom Holland's Spider-Man is down and out, bloody and bruised, Tobey Maguire's Spidey sporting a few grey hairs and stubble will come to console him. And in that moment, when Holland's Spidey looks at Maguire in the same way that he once used to look to Tony Stark for help, Maguire's Spidey will lay down a line that we've waited to hear for a long time. You know, my uncle once told me, with great power comes great responsibility. And at about that point, my eyes will probably start tearing up, but what else is new? So as you know, Uncle Ben has been completely absent from the MCU. He's never been portrayed by an actor, and Holland Spidey never actually tells us how his uncle dies. So at this moment, when Maguire tells Holland this powerful advice, it might never have happened in the MCU. This might be the first time Tom Holland hears it, which means Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is kind of sort of fulfilling Uncle Ben's role, which is actually pretty perfect. Not only will we get to see Toby back on the big screen as Spider-Man, but we'll also get to see him in a different role, passing the torch onto Tom Holland's Spidey in a way that's never really happened in superhero films. Besides Sam Wilson's turn as Captain America, can you think of any other superhero franchise that was able to pass the mantle to a new character? Off the top of my head, I can only really think of the X-Men franchise because Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart came back later to star in the same film as their replacements, Michael Fassbender and James McAvoy. But that doesn't really count, because they didn't fight in the same time period, and they're actually supposed to be the same characters, just older and younger versions. Holland Spidey and Maguire Spidey are from different realities, so it feels like the passing of the torch is more similar to Rogers and Wilson than, say, Fassbender and McKellen. If this fan theory is true, the only thing left to worry about is whether or not Toby's Spider-Man will die. You know, because that's what happened to Uncle Ben, not too soon after he said that famous line. 